Hello students, today I'm going to tell you about mushrooms. And uh, the thing to realize about mushrooms is that the part that you see is the fruiting body, and it's the culmination of the life cycle. What happened before the fruiting body is that there's this filamentous stage that's under the ground or in the substrate, and it's ramifying throughout the ground and gathering up all of the nutrition that's necessary to make a mushroom. It's also the thing that interacts with plants and other organisms. That mycelium that's underneath the ground, that is for the most part a dicaryon. That means that it has two haploid nuclei per cell. And the mushroom, most of what you see of the mushroom, is also a dicaryon. So it's before those two nuclei have fused at fertilization or made spores by meiosis. Okay, let's go through it step by step. So here's the dicaryotic mycelium, and it's N plus N. And then it makes this basidiocarp, basidiocarp, or the fruiting body, and it's also N plus N. And let's look at some details here. When it's young, it's a button. And in this particular species, the whole thing is covered by a veil. And then as the stipe extends, it breaks that veil. And some little bits of the veil uh, end up being scales on the top of the mushroom cap. And then there's other parts of it that are the annulus around uh, the stipe. And then there's also the vulva at the base of the mushroom. If we take that and then look specifically at the gills, which is where the action is, so here's the gills, and we look at that microscopically, then the surface of the gills, they are covered by the cells that will undergo first fertilization and then meiosis. And here they are. Then when they're young, those cells, they will be N plus N. And then those two nuclei will fuse together, and so they'll make a zygote, very briefly. That zygote will then undergo meiosis and make four nuclei inside of the basidium. And each of those nuclei then migrates to the tip of one of the uh, parts of the basidium and makes a basidiospore. So each mature basidium has four haploid spores that it's made. And those haploid spores then disperse, and they disperse, and if they land in a nice place that's appropriate for that species, then they'll germinate and they'll grow into a haploid mycelium, a haploid mycelium. So it's this filamentous hyphae that is uh, ramifying throughout the substrate. And those haploid mycelium, they, um, they come in different mating types. So some might be a plus mating type and others a minus mating type, which is sort of like male and female, but not really, because we couldn't know which one is male and which one is female. So if a plus mating type and a minus mating type get together, then that is uh, plasmogamy. That is, they merge their cytoplasm, but they don't really merge their nuclei yet. The nuclei still stay separate, and so it's a dicaryon. That's the dicaryotic mycelium, which will go on and do a lot of foraging uh, and build up its energy reserves until conditions are just right, and then it'll make a mushroom. So here's the whole thing, and that's all that I have to say about that.